Well, there is a Christian creed. And it's sad to say a lot of Christians maybe never heard of this creed and they sure don't have it memorized today. Well, let's take a look at Deuteronomy 6 and verse 1 and take a look at what this creed is. It says, Now these are the commandments and the statutes and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you, that you might do them in the land where you go in to possess it. Now what are we talking about here? Well, we're talking about the Ten Commandments. Now question, if you're a religious person, do you have the Ten Commandments memorized? Do you know them? Each one, all ten, okay? Do you, can you even find them in your Bible? Well, that's a good question. Can you? Do you know them? Do you have them memorized? Well, I can just hear some preacher saying about right now, well, wait a minute, Christ is the end of the law. Christ came to fulfill the law. Christ abolished the law. Jesus nailed it to his cross. You know, a lot of preachers are sort of like the snotty-nosed, rebellious Boy Scout who took his creed and threw it in the fire, threw it in the campfire, and just said, I don't need that. Let's do away with that. We don't want this creed. We don't want any regulations. We don't want any laws. We don't want anything like that. No, I just want to rebel. Yeah. In fact, let, let me explain this scripture. Let's take a look at this scripture. Romans 10 and verse 4. For Christ is the end of the law. Do you know what that word end means? It means goal, purpose. Let's take a look at it again. Christ is the goal, the purpose of the law. In other words, Christ kept the law perfectly. And that's the example he set for us. Now, I know we can't keep it perfectly, but we can at least try. Wouldn't you rather die, you know, trying to obey God than die a rebel? Yeah, I mean, at least try. Christ is the goal, the purpose of the law. So when you hear some preacher telling you, well, the law's been fulfilled and the law's been abolished and it's been nailed to the cross, realize you're dealing with a buffoon. You're dealing with a man. I don't care if he's been to seminary school. I don't care if he's been brainwashed by seminary school. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't know his Bible. If you've been, if you've been brainwashed into thinking that somehow Jesus did away with it all, Somehow Jesus just abolished the law. Somehow he just fulfilled the law. You've been lied to about the Bible. Is that really in the Bible? What you think is in the Bible is not.